Hi learners, welcome to the session economic term of the day. I am Ramesh Singh with you. As you know, in this short session, I try to give you exam oriented and to the point idea about one term at a time. I have picked the term of today that is repo rate. Let's try to understand ki what exactly repo rate is. Okay. Repo rate is one of the policy rates announced by RBI. It means ki among five policy rates, how many policy rates are in India? There are five such rates in India. One of it is known as policy. One of it is known as repo rate. Presently, I mean by today, it is 5.9 percent per annum. What exactly this rate is? This rate is the most significant among the policy rates. The five policy rates which we know about, the most sensitive and most significant policy rate is repo rate. Okay? It means that this is the policy rate which is considered the most sensitive. Sensitive among among the policy rates among the policy rates announced announced by the reserve bank of india clear this should be clear because from here questions are asked in objective exam clear now let us try to understand ki what exactly this rate is so this is an interest rate. This is an interest rate which is charged by RBI on short term loans. Now in this case, when you say short term, okay, short term loans, what exactly it means? Ki those loans which are borrowed, which are borrowed for one day, one day to 364 days this is its broad meaning this is actually short term loans are available through money market of a country okay money market of a country clear ab in case of repo rate if today repo rate is 5% or 6% whatever you call to if a bank borrows short term loan from RBI, then it will have to pay this interest rate. Ab in India, practically, there are four varieties of repos which are available in India. It means ki who borrows these loans from RBI, banks. Banks can borrow from RBI short term loans for different number of days different number of days and these days are today basically one day seven day 14 days seven days 14 days and ultimately 28 days okay did you understand as number of days increase as interest rate also increase a little bit clear Ab, other than this, you should know that this is also known as benchmark rate for call money market of India. What exactly call money market is? Okay. The call money market, CMM. I am here. Okay. Call money market is actually an interbank market. Interbank market. It means that from this market, banks borrow loan and in this market, banks offer loan for their short term requirement. That is known as working capital requirement. Ki if a bank needs some money today because it is lacking working capital, so first they go to call money market. If money is not available in call money market, then they can directly contact RBI. When they go to RBI, at same interest rate, they get the 
loan which they desire to borrow. What I mean to say, ki what you mean by benchmark rate? Benchmark rate means ki the rate at which call money market operates in our country. Clear? Short term loans are borrowed by bank from RBI using collaterals. Collateral means ki banks need to mortgage collaterals in the form of government securities. GSEX must be used to borrow from RBI. It means ki this lending is not done without support of collateral that is security. Changes in it have direct bearing on operational cost of bank. Why? Because banks manage working capital, working capital by borrowing money from this market that is repo market that is also known as repo window, repo route. We call it differently depending upon the time okay, what you want to show. So banks borrow working capital using this window. Suppose ki repo rate has been increased, the working capital becomes costly. Suppose repo has been decreased, the working capital becomes cheaper. As operating banks become costlier or cheaper, as banks are forced to decide and change the interest rates which they are charging on existing loans which they have already offered and the loans which will offer in future. That is what is written here. Ki increase in it signals a rise in lending rates of the banks. Similarly, decrease in it signals a, an, a, a decrease in lending rates of the bank. Lending rates actually means basically interest rates interest rates charged by charged by banks on the loans which they offer okay it means ki rbi influences interest rate of loans in india by changing repo rate this is all about repo rate. These are the we I have given you enough information which will help you to crack any objective question in exam. Okay. To get regular and timely videos on economic term of the day, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Okay. And you can use the code also to get 10% discount on different kind of subscriptions on an academy. We have a telegram channel also. Link is shared here. Join this channel to get regular updates, contents and free quizzes from our site. Thank you for watching.